continuing with the unsymmetrical fault analysis in this session we'll discuss double line to ground fault with a fault impedance once again i'm considering here a unloaded generator on which there is a double line to ground fault occurs through a fault impedance of z just i will draw the a system network that is the unloaded generator with a solidly grounded here then there is a phase a fault is occurring between b and c through a fault impedance of zf that i am showing here that is there is a double line fault that is b and c are shorted and it is grounded through a fault impedance therefore if you are look into the the network here before the fault occurs it is the generator is operating under no load condition then when there is a fault occurs between the two uh, lines or double lines and to the ground through a fault impedance of zf just to, to look into what is the fault current there is a current which is supplied by the uh, line b that is ib and there is a current which is delivered by the the b a c is also they are adding that is going through a fault impedance of zf therefore the total fault current in this case is ip plus ic that is equal to in once again there is a complete fault from this the current in through this okay means if you look into the the terminal conditions or a boundary conditions one observation is i is equal to zero then in the line to line fault occurs when there is a line to line fault occurs in that case you are seen that there is a the potential difference between b and c that is equal to i into z of n there is a line to line fault occurs but here these two voltages they are grounded through a fault impedance of z of therefore the terminal voltage vb and terminal voltage vc that is equal to ib plus ic into z of that is the other boundary condition whatever derived from this the diagram is that that is the vb is equal to vc that is equal to ib plus ic into z the same the boundary conditions i am writing here that is the first one is the vp is equal to vc is equal to ib plus ic into z that is this voltage drop is nothing but your va and vp okay the second boundary condition is i is equal to zero the second boundary condition is i is equal to zero with this a uh, boundary conditions just you have to establish relations uh, with the uh, symmetrical component currents and voltages just i am uh, writing here once again if you are uh, observing here the fault is involved with the ground here the fault is involved with the ground therefore your fault current that is uh, ib plus ic should be is equal to 3 times i not that is whenever there is a fault is occurs with the involvement of a ground then the fault current default is 3 time 3 times i not that i am demonstrating here first i'll write the current ia ib and ic in terms of its symmetrical components that is ia is equal to ia not plus ia1 plus i2 similarly i am writing for ib that is i0 a square i1 and plus a i2 and ic is i0 a times i1 plus a square times i2 then i know the what is the fault current the fault current in the double line to ground fault is ib plus ic just i am putting i am using the boundary condition that is i is equal to 0 first i am making use of the boundary condition That is equal to I is equal to zero. That is what is I? I is I not plus I one plus I two. From that equation, just I am writing I and putting I is equal to zero in this equation. Then I am establishing the relation between I one and I two and I not. What is that? Just I am transferring I not to the left hand side. What I am getting here is minus I not is equal to I I one plus I two. this particular relation i am using subsequently the derive the the fault current therefore 
just I am expressing here I A 1 plus I A 2 in terms of minus I A naught. Now I am deal with now the fault current. The fault current I F is given by I B plus I C that is the double line to ground fault. Just once again I am substituting for I B and I C in terms of its symmetrical components that is I A naught plus A square I A 1 plus A I A 2 plus I A naught plus A I A 1 plus A square I A 2 that is this value of B and C I am substituting in this I B and I C. Just I am regrouping the all the components that is grouping the terms pertaining to I A naught, I A 1 and I A 2 and I am simplifying this. I got this I A naught and I A naught therefore it is just two, 2 times I A naught. Then I have got A square I A 1 here it is A times I A 1 therefore A square plus A into I A 1. Similarly here it is A I A 2 and it is A square times I A 2 therefore it is A plus A square into I A 2. Then if you are putting the value of A square plus A or A plus A square that is nothing but minus 1 that is A plus A square that is 1 in angle of 240 plus 1 in angle of 120 is equal to minus 1 or 1 in, one in angle of 120 plus 1 in angle of 240 is also the minus 1. Therefore, I am putting directly here it is a minus 1 and minus 1. Just you have to realize this what I am getting is it is a 2 times i naught as it is. Here this minus and this minus I am taking outside then what I am getting here is i a 1 plus i a 2 but minus i a 1 plus i a 2 or is nothing but that is i a naught that is plus i a naught or you can put that is i a, I a 1 plus i a 2 is equal to minus i a naught here this i a 1 plus i a 2 can be replaced by minus i a naught minus i a naught and minus minus of minus plus it is plus I A naught what we are getting here. Therefore, the total fault current what I am getting here is 3 times I A naught. Therefore, the once again I derived here when the, the fault involved with the ground then the fault current that is I B plus I C is 3 times I A naught. This is one thing. Then we have to make use of the, the voltage conditions that is the voltage boundary condition that is we know that VB is equal to VC is equal to IB plus IC into ZF. Then you are derived IB plus IC is nothing but 3 times I A naught. Therefore IB plus IC can be replaced by 3 times I A naught. The same thing I am written here. Then I am using the condition that VB is equal to VC here. The what relation I am getting from the positive sequence voltage into the negative sequence voltage that I want to establish. Once again, I am substituting here VB and VC in terms of its symmetrical components. Therefore, I am putting VB and VC in terms of its symmetrical components. VA0, A square VA1, A VA2, VA0, A VA1 plus A square VA2. And bring all the VA1 terms to the left hand side and VA to the other side. In other case, VA0 on either side get cancelled here. VA0 and VA0 and bring all VA1 to the left hand side that is it is A square VA1 here it is A times VA1 we have to bring to the, the left hand side that is A square minus A into VA1 and in the right hand side we have got A square minus A into VA2 therefore what we are getting here A square minus A A square minus A on both sides get cancelled then uh, that is the positive sequence uh, voltage is equal to the negative sequence voltage that is a negative sequence network voltage that is VA1 is equal to VA2 this relations what I am getting here just I am making use of this relation here that is VB is equal to once again I am taking the VB only VB is equal to 3 times I A0 ZF that is I am considering VB is equal to 3 times I A0 into ZF that is equating just I am substituting for the VB in terms of its symmetrical components that is VA0, A square VA1, A VA2 as it is that is substitute the VB in terms of its symmetrical components and the right hand side and keeping as it is. Now we are derived one condition that VA1 is equal to VA2, VA1 is equal to VA2. Therefore I am replacing VA2 in terms of VA1. Therefore VA2 can be replaced as VA1. Therefore I am replaced here 
instead of VA2, I am replacing here VA1. The rest of the, the terms are remains the same. PA0, A square VA1, A VA2, A VA1. It is 3 times I A0. Then, I am keeping VA0 one side and VA1 terms and the I A0 Z up to the other side. Then what I am getting here is VA0. Just it is both are VA1. Therefore, VA1 is taken common. Therefore, A square plus A is equal to 3 times I A0 Z F what I am getting here. Then ultimately, VA0 minus VA1. This is another important relation what I am getting here. That is VA0 minus VA1 is equal to 3 times I A0 Z F. This is a very, very important thing you have to remember here. Now, from this uh, same relation, the same relation, that is, I am expressing VA1, the VA1 in terms of VA0. Just I am transferring VA1 to the right hand side, then this I am bringing to the, the left hand side, then ultimately we are interchanging the terms, then what I am getting here is VA1 is equal to VA0 minus 3IA0ZF, 3IA0ZF. Then from this equation, you look into here, that is VA0 is equal to IA0 Z0. That is the our basic equation of zero sequence voltage, network voltage. That is VA0 is equal to minus IA0 Z0. Therefore, the VA0, VA0 as thus and VA1 is EA1 minus IA1 Z0. That is we know the value of VA0, we know the value of VA1, the same these two the values can be substituted here for a VA1 and VA0. That is, we know these the sequence voltages VA0 and VA1. The VA0 and VA1 can be substituted in this equation. What I am getting here, just you can observe here. Instead of VA1, I am writing that is EA minus IA1Z1. And instead of VA0, I am substituting minus IA0Z0 and 3 times IA0ZF as it is. Just you have to regrouping the, the terms. And you have to find out from thus the what is the value of I A naught in terms of I A1. Just my intention is to find out the, the sequence currents that is I A1 and I A2 and I A naught. Therefore, here there are three variables. Therefore, I want to reduce into a one variable so that I can find out the I A1, I A2, I A naught independently. Therefore, just what I am doing here is I am finding out the I A naught in terms of E A and I A Z one. Just have to simplify here. That is, we are getting I A naught common here. Then in the bracket, what we are getting is Z naught plus three Z F. Therefore, we are getting. Then this minus sign here in the minus sign that can take a common. Therefore, I am putting here minus here, minus here. Then what is the left out here? That is E A minus I A one Z one. That is this side as it is divided by Z naught plus 3ZF, Z0 plus 3ZF with a minus sign, therefore you are getting I A0. Then once again you can use this identity that is VA1 is equal to VA2. Just I will write here that is VA1 is equal to VA2. Once again I am substituting what is the value of VA1 and VA2 in this equation. That is EA minus IA1Z1 is equal to minus IA2Z2. From this particular equation, I am expressing IA2 in terms of IA1. I am expressing IA2 in terms of IA1. Just I am finding out from this equation, IA2. IA2 is equal to EA minus IA1Z1 divided by Z2 with a minus sign here, therefore minus sign here. Therefore, what I am getting here is IA0 and IA2 in terms of IA1. IA0 and IA2 in terms of IA1. Therefore, I am making use of the condition that is a boundary condition of the current i a is equal to zero just have to look into substituting the value of i a naught and i a two in i a naught plus i a one plus i a two is equal to zero in this case what i am getting here is just i am substituting i a naught from this equation and i a one as kept as it is then here i a two is minus it is a minus of a i a one Z1 divided by Z2 that I am substituting is equal to 0. That is, in the boundary condition, I am putting the value of the IA0 and IA2 that is in terms of IA1 
Now, I got only one variable that is i1, i1 and i1. Therefore, I am solving this equation for current i1. Therefore, i1 is equal to a divided by z1 plus z2 into z0 plus 3zf divided by z0, z2, z0 plus 3zf. This is a, the positive sequence current what I am getting. Once I know the positive sequence current, then you can find out zero sequence current by substituting the value of i1 here from here and similarly we can find out i2 by substituting the value of i1 from this so that the total fault current ib plus ic that is equal to three times i0 that is if you are directly if you are multiplying three times i0 that you are getting the, the fault current. The one important relation is the va1 is equal to va2 va1 is equal to va2. What do you mean by this? va1 by 2, va1 is equal to va2 means the positive sequence network and negative sequence network they are connected in parallel. That is positive sequence network and the negative sequence networks they are connected in a parallel. And there is a voltage difference between va0 and va1 means if you are connecting the va0 with a va1 the difference between VA0 and VA1 is 3 times I0 ZF means between the positive sequence network or positive between the negative sequence network and zero sequence network there is impedance of 3 ZF should be connected so that this equation is satisfied. One is VA0 minus VA1 is equal to 3 times I0 ZF the another the condition we have to satisfy is VA1 is equal to VA2 Accordingly, you have to draw the our sequence network for this particular part. That I am demonstrating here. These are the values of IA1, IA0 and IA2. That what I am getting. That is IA1 is expressed once again. It is a known quantity of the EA, Z1, Z2 and Z0 and ZF is a given quantity. All these given quantity, thereby you are finding out I1. Once I go to the I1, then you are getting IA0 as well as IA2. Thereby, you can find out the what is the total fault current. Okay, that is IB plus IC that is equal to 3 times I0. Then, as far as the voltage is voltage conditions are con concerned, that is VA1 is equal to VA2, and the another one is VA1 is equal to VA0 minus 3 times I0 ZF or VA0 minus VA1 is equal to 3 times I0 ZF. It is one and same. Therefore, you can look into the, the sequence network connection for double line to ground fault through a fault impedance that is that is a VA1 there is a positive sequence network and it is a terminal voltage VA1 for the positive sequence network then I have got a negative sequence network the terminal voltage for the negative sequence network is VA2 that is we know the first condition VA1 is equal to VA2 therefore these two are connected in parallel then as far as the VA1 and the VA0 is concerned, there is a display, uh, there is a the potential difference of 3 times I0 ZF that should be included between positive and zero sequence or negative and zero sequence because VA1 is equal to VA2. Therefore, just you have to observe here, first I am connecting, it is a zero sequence network between the zero sequence network and negative or positive sequence network, there is a difference phase display. Um, uh, potential difference of three times I know that I have to show therefore you can see here first I am connecting all the three in parallel therefore between the positive and negative a uh, positive and zero or negative and zero there is a three times setup then you can look into here what is the current here the current is I know then what is the voltage drop here three times I know ZF here it is VA not here it is VA1 is equal to VA2 that is VA1 minus VA0 is equal to 3 times I0 ZF that is the second condition is also fulfilled because here it is a VA1 that is equal to VA2 both VA1 and VA2 are same here it is a VA1 at this point we have got a VA0 therefore it is a VA1 minus VA0 then what is the voltage of here? That is the current which is flowing here is I0 therefore 3 times I0 ZF therefore the VA1 minus VA0 is equal 